Let's see what happens when a Town Hall 14 uses a Dark Elixir Trap base in the Bronze League. Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Judo Sloth. I only have walls left to upgrade on this account so I wanted to have some fun. I have set up a Trap Dark Elixir base. It looks pretty enticing from the left hand side, however we all know it is not. And I thought how could we increase our chances here whilst giving people a little bit of loot. So I am going to drop all of the way down to the lowest league and I've always enjoyed dropping down to the bronze league we did this in a couple of previous videos this base is from my good friend itsu by the way i have modified it i think we might get hit with sneaky goblins so i have put a wall around the dark elixir storage to better protect it if they are smart they can certainly still get a lot of loot from me my storages are completely maxed there's only the dark elixir actually which is not full but it's still pretty enticing so the first thing we need to do is draw drop all of the way down so let's throw up a timer so you know how long this takes and let's go on this journey together don't mind getting some free dark elixir whilst we drop down might as well give our opponents a little bit more once we get down to that lowest league oh well that didn't work i now don't have my queen We are only a couple of bases into the search, but look at this. Have you ever seen anybody collect the tree trunks like this? He has so many around the base. I'm not sure he knows, but there's actually a spawn limit. 42, I believe it is. So he's not actually getting any more of those. I hate to tell you, buddy. First league down, Titan 2 it is. We've got a lot more to go. But right now, we are going to be dropping pretty quickly because we're finding bases fast and we're also dropping a lot of trophies every time we find a base. Champions League it is and one of the things that always fascinates me when we drop down to the Bronze League is just how the bases change as you are dropping trophies. You can see the progression going down over right of the way down to the Bronze League. Well, we find some weird and wonderful bases, don't we? It's just a really cool part of Clash of Clans. It kind of reminds me of sub 200 farming back in the day. Anybody remember that Clash of Clans OGs? Let me know. If you did not know, you can easily farm Dark Elixir if you plan on dropping in trophies just by sniping the drills. There's a lot of Dark Elixir in there. I could arguably drop faster, but I'm being a little bit conscious on sniping those drills. I've already got an extra 12,000 Dark Elixir, and we are really not that far through the drop yet. If nothing else, it will help to fund our defense. It's quite funny to me that every time we press next, since my storages are full, I actually lose a little bit of gold and then quickly get it back during the attack itself. Come on, queen. Hurry up and get that DE. Let's get out of there. Beautiful. 3,000. That's awesome. The one sad thing about dropping trophies is when you find big loot raids and yet you cannot seriously attack them. I mean, I definitely cannot attack this one because for whatever reason, I don't have any troops cooped up. So let's just get that one drill. I probably could have got a couple of others. But anyways, our storages are full. It's not going to make that big of a difference, is it? I just get excited when I see big loot, okay? Three little dark elixir drills all together. Let's put the heroes in with the abilities. Thank you very much, buddy. There is just loot everywhere today. This is literally the next search. Can we get it all? The king would have to go through the wall here. He's got the yak, I guess. Let's see what we can do. Maybe we lose the royal champion here. King ability, queen ability, RC ability. Come on, king, go through the wall. He's not. Oh, let's let's just leave that one. I just got an achievement. Really? Destroy 250 weaponized builder hoods. Hey, thank you very much for the 30 gems. Ooh, this
This is taking a little while. We have hit the Crystal League, but an extra 40,000 Dark Elixir already. I think I'm maybe farming a little bit too much with the Dark Elixir, but it's just too good to miss. Watch this. As soon as you get in towards the drills, you can get so much loot. Maybe I should quit on this one, potentially as the queen gets to this. Hey, we've gone this far. Let's just get those drills. Royal Champion is going down. There's one drill. Come on, queen. There we go. 5,000 Dark Elixir. Nice. Oh, the Royal Champion had to go down less than a minute. Come on, you're adding to the timer here. Time is precious, my friends. There we go, let's get back into it. Eleven thousand Dark Elixir. What? This is incredible. Let's use that, use that. Let's get out of there. 5.7, a new best. Oh, we are down to the Silver Leagues already. We cruised on through the Gold League. That was definitely picking up the pace. And I'm still enjoying the Dark Elixir. However, at this level, we're just not finding as much. We are still finding highly upgraded bases down here. So perhaps we will have a top level player, maybe a Town Hall 14 attack us. The game tries to match you against bases of a similar Town Hall level. Another Town Hall 14 looks pretty good that we could actually get a Town Hall 14 to attack us. Oh my goodness. We have an engineered base. We always seem to find one like this whenever we do these episodes. Now you cannot make a village like this anymore. This was made prior to Town Hall 12 and clearly still logs in because that is the ninth anniversary cake. Do we take? No, I'm actually not going to do that because then I would win a bunch of trophies. So no thanks. Didn't we find somebody from Ken Castle a little while ago? I don't think it was this base. Is it the same clan though? How weird is that? I'm going to type this in. I am so intrigued now. Maybe it's a clan that purposely drops trophies to gain defenses. It has three people in it. There is no way that I just found two out of those three people. There's no way. The searchers are taking quite a bit longer in order to find a village. And even when I do find a village, since the game is trying to match me with another Town Hall 14, the amount of trophies I lose is significantly less. This is only minus two. We know from my previous videos that it takes quite some time. So why don't we just go to 500 trophies? That's probably better for the defense as well. I think I just found the same player twice. I just attacked the same player twice. Look at that. One after another. This is why I love dropping to the Bronze League. Weird things happen in Clash. There we have it. 500 trophies on the dot. We are in bronze two. I know we normally drop to bronze three, but in terms of the defense, I think it will be better at this stage. Let's collect this and make sure that my gold storage is full. By the way, we were on 220,000 Dark Elixir, so 65,000 in the time it took us in order to drop. A little bit longer than previously. However, let's make this interesting. Let's help people out down here in the Bronze League. I'm going to use a research potion that will boost all of my mines and pumps, meaning there's more loot to steal. And let's go ahead and purchase a one-day shield. 
are you ready to try the base in Bronze League? I've had time for all of my mines and pumps in order to fill, meaning that we can give people a little bit more loot down here, particularly since we are trying to trap them towards the Dark Elixir. The only thing left to do is remove my shield and guard so we can be attacked. We can then force close the app, and I quickly want to thank you. We have hit 30% of you all subscribed. How high can we push that number? I appreciate your support, and if you're not subscribed, feel free to do so. I appreciate it. Here we go, we are under attack. We know at this level there might be some players that just want to drop trophies, but hopefully my Dark Elixir can entice somebody in. Look at all of the loot. He's already taken 6,000 Dark Elixir, but I still have 1.4 million gold, 1.6 million Elixir. Is he going to fall for the trap? What is he doing? Looks like he's just going for the mines and pumps at the moment. Very smart, shall we say, in order to pick that off because that is where the majority of the loot is. If you did not realize, you actually get 50% of loot from the mines and pumps, whereas the storagers, they only get 20% and it's capped. Oh, he's quit! Let's see if we can entice somebody into that area. Okay, what can we do? Let's maybe pull the Dark Elixir drills into the base. Why don't we switch them out with maybe an Archer Tower? Let's just make sure they are in the base so that we actually get people that want to attack us for the Dark Elixir. You know what? I'm just going to switch them out with these cannons. And hopefully, by protecting that Dark Elixir a little bit more, we can get people to move in towards the storage. There we go. Luke is attacking us. Is he going to attack us for real? Come on, Luke. Go into the Dark Elixir. He's actually raging up the barge. A wise player here. He knows that there's more available in the Dark Elixir drills. I'm keeping an eye on that left-hand side, but Luke, I might have to eat my own words. This is not smart, my friend. Stop deploying the barge like that. Where is he putting the rest? Oh my goodness, he is going all out for the drills. And yet they are going everywhere, but the trap was set to the left of the base. And yet the right hand side of the base is working better. Luke, you're making it worse. You could just use your heroes, anything, the Grand Warden ability. That was a very expensive funnel for that right hand side. At least he got one of the mines. Come on, buddy. For you committing this much, I want you to at least get the second. There we are. Queen locks on. That's the second drill, but I'm not sure he can get the third. He's queen. <laughs> Oh my gosh, can we get anybody to attack in towards the storage? Here we go. I was actually responding to you guys from my most recent upload. Let's see what we've got. Oh, it's the sneaky goblins. But where is he going to attack? Still over 1 million in loot. And check this out. It is a player in silver. It is a town hall 14 because he has Lassie. But he's using the jump spell to access my elixir storage is he going for the dark come on buddy you've got this it's right there oh he's using a jump spell here because he could maybe get to the dark elixir without going through the trap he's got 26 sneaky goblins now he's cleared a path assuming he's using that jump spell just keeping an eye on the rest of the map as well if he deploys anything else gold storage he's got now he's moving in for the elixir storage does he quit there or does he go for the dark elixir Oh, he's going for the Dark Elixir, I think. Now, the Sneaky Goblins do go for the Elixir. Now, they will go up to the Gold Storage if he even gets it. He doesn't. Is he going elsewhere? Is he attacking it? Oh, how did he get the Sneaky Goblins there? They certainly were sneaky. Come on, buddy. The jump spell is gone. He's starting over this side. You've got eight Sneaky Goblins. Push them to the Dark Storage. He's not. He's going to slowly pick off every one of my storages. He knows it's a trap and he's just mocking me. Maybe he could have used the Grand Warden ability with the Sneaky Goblins for the Dark Elixir storage. Perhaps? Where did he even deploy them? Up the top. That's going to mean that my mines and pumps are getting taken down. The next attackers will not get as much. Half a million. I think that's it. I don't think he's sending the heroes. He's qu Oh, he's not. He sent the log launcher and then quit. Why would he do that? Anyway, still didn't happen. 
Oh, here we go. Let's see what we've got. Is the attacker going to fall for the trap? Sneaky goblins. Oh, he's already in. Gosh, we missed it. So he's hit the tornado trap. He's already set off the giant bombs. He knows that it's a trap. Gets the gold storage. Oh, they're targeting the dark elixir. There's a bunch of bombs. Goodbye, sneaky goblins. <laughs> okay. Is he going to get it this time? He sent enough in. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it survived. It has a tiny little bit, so he keeps going. He's going to get it this time, but at least we had our fun. He has had to send in a bunch of sneaky goblins. You got a bunch of dark elixir. He can't be dissatisfied with that. I would personally use a jump spell and push them in from that side, but he's not bothered. He just wanted the storage and he is out of there. Enjoy my dark elixir, my friend. You have earned it. If you want to see when we attacked in the Bronze League as a Town Hall 14, I used mass wall breakers and healers. I have it linked on your screen alongside the subscribe button. You guys take care and I will see you in the next video.